Authorities are taking the measures they believe will halt the spread of H7N9, most notably restrictions on the live poultry trade in Shanghai, at the center of the outbreak. In a country which often suffers from food scares, this is a further blow to public confidence in food supply here. Fear? How can we not fear it? It happens like this so fast, of course we have fears. People can't sell their produce. Right now, as it is the peak season for the flu, everybody pays more attention to this problem. The probability of getting sick is more acute. Everybody's worried. Shanghai was the first to close live poultry markets, with other nearby cities taking similar action. Poultry markets at a number of places in China are reporting the same downturn in business, and authorities here in Hong Kong are introducing measures this week to try to detect the virus among the thousands of chickens that are imported daily from China. A new quick test for H7N9 will be introduced on imported chickens at the border to allay public fears. But for poultry traders like Lawrence Ng, these are worrying times. Fewer people are buying live chickens now, he tells us. If the virus is detected here, Hong Kong is likely to order the immediate ban of all live poultry, rather than risk a severe health crisis in this crowded city. But there are still suspicions here that mainland authorities are not as forthcoming as they should be about the severity of the outbreak. It's important to tell the people across the boundary that we need the information and the international community expects the Chinese government to come up with the information as soon as possible. But Chinese authorities are extending measures to other types of bird to control the spread of the virus. The Shanghai Pigeon Racing Association has banned any racing, with all birds grounded until further notice. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Hong Kong.